During the pandemic, $1.8 billion in state and federal CARES Act funds was paid out to 170,000 individuals in New Hampshire. Our approach at the very beginning was we wanted to get decisions right and we wanted to get payments out fast. And with 97% of the dollars that have gone out of that $1.8 billion, we've done just that. Lavers says just under 3%, about $43 million, were overpayments to about 20,000 individuals. He says 12,000 of them, who received roughly $18 million, provided inaccurate, misleading information. They've been notified of the decision that they have to pay it back. And when you're dealing with a federal program that was based upon self-certification, essentially the honor system at the beginning, um, you're going to deal with some people that are going to try to get money that they should not have been applying for. But the state takes the blame for $25 million overpaid to about 8,000 people. And in some instances, we paid individuals on the wrong program or in the wrong amounts. And those folks, uh, because they are not at fault in causing the overpayment, they're not going to have to repay it. 20 of that 25 million is federal money that won't impact the state's unemployment trust fund. But individuals with CARES Act mistakes still have to file waivers to be excused. There is an appeals process for those who have to repay. The department's hiring more people to speed that process up. And there's more information on its website, including about 10 upcoming virtual job fairs. We're live in Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.